What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stardew Valley. My name is Splattercat. Pretty stoked to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and start messing around with some of the new... I wanted to make beer kegs today, but we need oak resin in order to make that work. And my supply of oak resin is not resonating so well at the moment. It, it really is not at the level I need it to be in order to make this properly work. However, we do have all the other supplies in order to get it done. I just killed my oak grove, but we weren't going to see any... We weren't going to see any oak stuff happening for a while anyway, so I'm not really that upset about the whole thing, but welcome on back. I think we needed... Ooh, we needed wood, we needed clay, we needed copper, which actually I'm weirdly low on copper. Am I holding a bunch of copper somewhere or something? How did I run out of copper? Oh man, that's troublesome. Well, I'm about to solve that, aren't I? Okay, well if I wanted to make this barrel over here... There's our first keg. I don't know how many of these kegs I want to make, but I'm assuming we're probably going to make a lot of them because I would love to brew ales and beer and wine and all that kind of stuff along the way. I've got the materials that I need in order to do some of the stuff that I need to do. I'm going to throw that in there real fast. Basically throw everything in here that I'm not immediately going to be using. And then where was my adventure stash? There you are, adventure stash. I grew an adventure stash one time, but I am not an attractive man with a mustache. And so I just, I stopped. It's it's not worth it. It's not worth it for me. Mustaches don't work for me. My dad's been rocking a mustache since like the 70s. Although he swapped over to beards lately. He swapped over to beards. Because mustaches, they were popular enough in like the 70s and the 80s to where they went kind of out of style like in the 90s and the 2000s and then hipsters kind of brought it back as like an ironic thing like look at my goofy ass. Oh, we can't go to town. But I want to go to town right now. I have things to do. Why does this town shut down every time there's a holiday? Ah, small town. Small town wherever the hell we are. I was going to call it small town America, but I don't even know if we're in the United States at the moment. We could be like anywhere. I... I am upset. I am upset right now. I wanted to upgrade some of my tools, and I was ready to do it too. Damn it, I hate it when you're ready to do it and it doesn't happen. I'm upset. Deep down, my heart has been torn. What's up, Buck Beak? Hey. Let me pet you, Buck Beak. Let me milk you, Buck Beak. Apparently can't milk chickens. I don't know what pff, depraved universe we're living in. Where I can't milk a chicken, but... Apparently you can't milk chickens in this universe. Can I go down here at least and buy the heater that I need for winter? I don't think there will be any harm done as long as I do it like right away tomorrow when winter starts. Hopefully Marnie isn't like out working on the festival stuff. That was weird. I was walking to the bottom and to the right and I had no control over my character for a minute. I got scared. I was like we're dealing with wizards now. All right, so let's get a heater. I get the feeling we're going to need one. Can't buy any more animals, so that's right out. That looked like a N64 over there, which is a pretty solid console. I did like my N64. I played my N64 a lot when I was younger. Although I think I played my PlayStation more. I swapped my systems around because that was in the days of Funko Land, still giving you decent amounts of money for trade-ins, so you could like swap your consoles around if you played your cards right. So every now and again, I would just like swap consoles and like lose a little bit of my allowance or a little bit of whatever else. Or you would do the thing and then you had a two-week exchange, so you just have the console for like two weeks and then you take it back like on the day of. Just be like, eh, whatever. I did that actually. That's what I used to do in college to save money but still play video games. I would buy used versions of the game that I would want and then I'd beat it in like a week and then I'd just take it back because they have the two-week return policy for any reason. And I would just do that over and over and over again. So the same $50 would basically buy me like every AAA game used over the course of like a summer or over the course of like a school semester that was back before steam was a big thing though where steam was rolling 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 I remember the first time I had to install something on steam it was for might and magic it was for the first person might and magic game that was the first one that ever forced me to use steam integration I remember how upset I was about it but at the end of the day I now have like 50 gajillion steam games because developers send me promos like all day every day and so it's just like I've got demo builds and like thousands of preview builds just all over the place. It's like impossible to navigate my Steam anymore. It really sincerely is difficult. They said this was going to start at 10 p.m. Is that what they said? I wasn't paying attention when he wrote me a letter. 
I do wish you could see your archived mail somewhere. What am I supposed to do with all this time? Who can say what I should do when I go through you? Where's my scythe? That's right, I'll break out in you right now, because I just don't give a damn. So if I get that done right there, I guess I can just do minor renovations to the field. I need to put in oak trees down here. And so if I can get those oak nuts all up in my hands, we'll start farming out resin too so I can make a bunch of kegs. So that's for pine. That's for, there we go. We need the acorns. The acorns are exactly what we need. So let's swing southwards. And I'm actually going to have these go like this instead. And that should give us more than enough stuff to tap into. Meanwhile, we'll blaze some of that. Why did it? No, it killed one of my little... All right, I'm going to have to replace it. Hold on. All right, so I got you. I got you. There. I lost a pine tree, though. I lost a pine tree. We're going to need some more tappers. we got to get this going. And then I'll put in walls right there. I'll put in more ground so that, like over here, random little trees have trouble springing up like this little bastard. Wait, why am I missing a layer of trees? Am I missing a layer of trees? I feel like I'm missing a layer of trees. Huh. Why does that feel like it's so out of line? It's just got to be a perception thing. Sorry, I think I just messed up my own field. It's a perception thing. It threw me off for a second. It caused me to do something stupid. Damn you, perception! And you're perceiving. You're constant scheming and perceiving. Alright, so we got a bunch of mayo. I would now... Let's finish that wall. Actually, I'm going to have that retaining wall go... Act no, I don't want to finish that right now because... Uh... So indecisive at the moment. All right, well, let's ready some sprinklers then. We'll also tap some trees while we're here. I need refined quartz, which I actually don't have that much of. I can make more. It's not too much of a hassle. But I thought I had more of it, and so we'll go in on... Oh good, sprinklers stack now. They didn't used to stack. Fantastic. That's actually a really, really nice ease of access life thing. So I'll probably put those out in the fields right now too. I don't like having days where I don't get things done. I like to be productive. I'm the same way in real life. Like, I hate weekends when I'm not working. Like, I don't know how to shut off. Like, I just want to work all the time. Like, I feel hella restless when I'm not working. And I don't know how to fix that. I don't know, sometimes I feel like work is the only thing in life that makes me feel better. Like, even though I don't necessarily, like, want to work or enjoy it in that particular moment. Like, it's still the only thing that makes me feel relaxed. I don't know. It's weird. Oh, uh, that's not spaced properly. And right there, right there. And right there. So our next field has been started. We are going to need some more supplies in order to get that done right. It was mostly the quartz that hobbled us right there, so it's not going to be something that we can't work around. I just got to refine more quartz, and then once we got that field done, we will have two separate fields ready to go where we can start making some money. I could also expand this wall out to make it a little bit wider. There's enough room there for another sprinkler so that this could go out right here a little bit further, but meh. I also, I, I told myself I was going to rearrange this in the winter, too, and get it all nice and squared away. And so I am looking forward to doing that. I know, kitty. I know. So this was at 10 o'clock. I'm going to try and go out there one more time, just to be sure. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock. We'll get there. It's just hard to kill time when you weren't planning on doing this right now. I guess technically I could start fiddling with this right now and move it around a little bit, but... 
Yeah, there'll be plenty of time for that in winter. I mean, I don't think any of these crops are going to make it anyways. They're all going to die, and we're going to have to refiddle things around. I'm going to move the Scarecrow and get the Scarecrow into a more advantageous position so that we're not wasting farm space, but at the same time, we're protecting our crops from crows, which like to come around and mess with us. With the tappers. Perfect. So those will be up and ready to go in like a week. They're not going to do anything for us right now. But someday they'll be good for it. I don't know if they give you pine resin or what they give you from that. You get oak resin, you get maple syrup, and you get pine tar maybe or pine... I don't know. Hopefully it's useful for something. we got to decide where our brewery is going to be at too. we got to refine quartz over here as well. Perfecto. Keep that blazing off on that side. Blaze it! And then on this side, we'll start throwing some of these random little bits and bobs back inside the chest because we're going to be running around doing jack shit nothing for a bit. And those don't go in there. Those go in there. Good. One more hour to the party. I like Halloween a lot. Halloween is my biggest regret as an adult is that you don't get to Halloween anymore. It sucks. I would gladly trade Thanksgiving or, like, Christmas for Halloween. It's just a superior holiday. It really is. Like, because Christmas and Thanksgiving, they just get slowly neutered over time to the point where, I don't know, they kind of, like, lose their meaning or something. But with Halloween, Halloween is always about pranks and candy. Pranks and candy. And those are two things that I am very much enamored with. I love both pranks and candy. And close off some of these doors so that tomorrow when winter starts off and we get our first snow, our animals are not dying horrifically. There we go. And let's walk to town for the festival. I think it tells you when the festival starts. So it shouldn't matter if I actually mistime this or anything like that. Whoa, you guys have, like, captive skeletons? Don't get too close to the cage. I have no idea how these skeletons are walking. Creepy. Hi, I'm sorry, my mouth is full of blackberries. I'll come to any event with free grub. You won't see me in the haunted maze, though. There's a haunted maze? Where's the haunted maze at? I love haunted houses. Let's see, we got a jack-o'-lantern, we got a rare crow, that one looks like it's from Wicked. I suppose I'll take the recipe and one of those. It's kind of like a bum purchase, but people always get mad at me in the comments when I don't buy out everything from every single holiday, so... Good evening, Fickle Farmer. Have you ventured into the haunted maze yet? It's quite spooky. Well, where is it? Doesn't look like there's any way for me to, like, get around. It's like, maybe it's up this way. Oh, you can ask people to go to the maze with you? Hi, Figgle Farmer. Have you had a productive fall? I have indeed. But Aunt Marnie, I want to go in the maze. I'm not scared. That's true. I got to go ask my lady friend, see if she wants to go with me. Speaking of which, I don't see her. Well, winter's almost here. It's a great time to stockpile wood and stone. Huh. Where's my lady friend? I've lost my lady friend. I knew the relationship was going to end somehow. I think I've already been this way. No, wait. What is this guy doing? Oh, you found me. The truth is I got too scared, so I came here to hide. Don't tell anybody. You're a man of science, amigo. Shouldn't be scared by things like haunted mazes. Why are there undead hands coming out of the ground, though? A <laughs> fizzly TV. The vapor from this cauldron is making my head spin, but I can't seem to leave. <laughs> it's Baba Yaga's house. You know because, look, it's standing on chicken feet. If you don't know who Baba Yaga is, Baba Yaga is like a forest spirit. Like a witch that lives in the forest. 
and she lives in a house that has two chicken legs that's guarded by a talking skull and a bunch of other stuff. Kind of cool. Her house can pick up and run whenever she's attacked by people that want to, like, bother her. Something weird over there, but how do I get to it? I can't go on. There's there's spiders. No, not the spiders. Not the spooky spiders. That's odd. It's just a dead end up ahead. Ooh. What? The golden pumpkin! What does the golden pumpkin do? It's valuable but has no other purpose. Cool. I am the keeper of the great golden gourd. All worship before me or fall before my golden pumpkin related magics. Can I brag about it to this guy and be like, hey, you're a punk. I won. Nope, I can't. Well, fine then. They put the graveyard inside the public litter box. That's what I call sandboxes. They're public litter boxes. They're the porta potties of the kitty world. So gross. <laughs> When you really think about it, it really is just the worst. There's got to be a secret passage around here somewhere. Yup, and I already got it, so don't bother. The golden pumpkin is mine, rubes. Bask in the eminent glory of my golden gourd-related eminence, plebs. So now what? We just, like, chill here? Strange man who lives in the tower set it all up himself. He wouldn't let anybody near while he was working on it. I don't know if there's anything else we can do here. Because you could see the wizard up top over here, like, surveilling. Oh, I thought they would grab you or something. Okay. If I can just walk past them without any detriment to myself. Yeah, I wonder if there's any way to get up there to, like, talk to them. I don't think that there is. Eh, yeah, let's just bounce. We got the golden gourd. I mean, what else is there to do? Alright, oh my god, it's midnight. It's so late right now for most people, but not for me. This is like... The night is just getting started for me at this hour. Let's check out winter. I've been excited about this. Winter's my favorite season. I love winter. In real life, winter's the best. I think winter would be the worst if I didn't live with the comforts of, like, modern life. I'd probably like it a lot less, but I like winter because I have creature comforts. Oh, there's one more day in fall. Damn it! How are you gonna get me excited like that? There's one more day in fall. I'm glad I didn't bulldoze my fields then because I thought about it for a second. I contemplated it. Figgle Farmer, how are things going? You must be really making a fortune on that farm. Don't forget your dear old mother when you're a millionaire. Love mom, enjoy the cake. Yeah, I used to think I'd be somebody fancy where I'd like do something with my life. At this point though, I'm sort of just doubting it's gonna happen. It's weird how you give up on shit like that as you get older. You'll be like, well, I've realized how high the mountain is. And my natural inability to give a shit is really, really, really hampering. I think that's the other part is I just don't really have any passions. I was like, eh. I don't know what's wrong with me, but everything feels stupid to me. <laughs> like, everything just feels lame and pointless. Like, I have friends that are, like, really, really into stuff. Like, whether it's, like, music... Or whatever else. Music. Art. Programming. There's just nothing that I'm into. Like, I, I just don't like things. I don't like activities. 
So sometimes I feel like I'm kind of doomed. Can I not put the pumpkin out? I want to put the pumpkin out. No, I don't want it in my house. It'll go rotten and then it'll be all gross. I'm just going to sit it in the corner. Can I put the golden gourd anywhere or do you just like sell it? Like what do you do with it? Probably just sells for a bunch would be my estimation. Well, if we've got a little bit of time left, technically I could sprint on over and we could get rid of... Let's see. Well... Yeah, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to take this stuff over to the blacksmith's house. Because I wanted to upgrade some of my stuff before, especially my hoe and maybe my axe, before we go further into the next season. I just want to make sure that random little things that need to get done are actually getting done. I'm going to do some maintenance tasks, or maintenance tasks around here. I've got the bucket. We'll let the cows out, I guess. Hey. How now, brown cow? Will you give me your milk? Come here. Other cow, what are you doing? Apparently nothing right now. Throw these in the cheesers. And then we'll go check on the chickens real fast to make sure that they're okay. Those are watering, so I'm glad those are now functional, actually doing what they're supposed to be doing. Chickens be free. Arise, chicken. Arise. Arise, chicken. Arise. God, I miss Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I miss everything about, like, being younger. I will probably hold on to my honey for right now. Could probably get away with selling off some cheeses. I've got a weird collection of rare crows that I need to put somewhere. There's like sitting around inside my inventory. I suppose I could use them to guard my farms, but I actually like uniformity when I have my functional areas. I don't like it when you've got like a bunch of like mishmash of random shit in your public areas, like the areas where you're... Is that the little guy from Howl's Floating Castle? I think it is. Turniped or whatever his name was. I don't know how I didn't notice that previously, but I guess it existed, and I just didn't take the time to take notice. We're out of time for the day. I think I'm going to stop right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stardew Valley. It's always fun to hang out with all of you. And so I will see you the next time I come around. I hope you're still enjoying the series. I plan on keeping this one running for a long, long time. If it ends up being something that doesn't like keep people strapped to their seats or whatever, we'll move on to other stuff. I definitely think we've given it its due diligence at this point, but I'm still having fun with it. So until people completely, totally start falling off, I'll probably keep it. So I'll see y'all later. Bye, everybody.